but we're gonna talk about actions. Actions, everything to do with joints. So we have to know where, at minimum, where our joints are so we know which bones are moving. So we're gonna start at the shoulder, glenohumeral joint. What movements can we do? At the shoulder, this is flexion. This is a return from flexion, AKA extension. So as I'm going forwards and up, anterior and superior, I'm doing flexion. As I come back down, I'm doing extension. That is of the arm at the shoulder. When you're first learning actions, that's how I say everything. So this is abduction, abduction at the shoulder of the arm, out to the side. So from this angle, it would be coming at you in a frontal plane. All right, so that's abduction, coming back to and adding it back to your body is ad Abduction, like you add it back. You get abducted by aliens, you get taken away from your family. Same thing with your arm, it's getting abducted, it's in that tractor beam. Now it's coming back to your body, adduction. This is all at the shoulder, remember, of the arm, which just so happens to be connected to the forearm and hand, so they follow what the arm does. What else can we do at the shoulder? We can rotate. We can, what's called internally and externally rotate also known as medially and laterally rotate. So you're gonna hear both. I'm gonna flex elbow, my forearm, like this, so you can see my hand. I'm gonna do it two ways. First way, I'm gonna show you medial rotation of the humerus at the shoulder. Lateral rotation of the humerus at the shoulder. Medial, internal, external. Now let me show you what it actually is because I'm flexing so you can see it better, but the reality is I don't have to flex. If I'm like this, in anatomical position, this is medial rotation, medial rotation, lateral rotation, internal, external. Those are my rotational movements. I can do tons of movements at the shoulder because I can do extension and flexion, because I can do abduction and adduction, because I can do medial and lateral rotation, because this is a ball, humerus head in socket, glenoid cavity joint. I can do something called circumduction. I call it circumduction. Circular adduction, abduction. It's doing all of those movements all at once. This is why we can spin our arms around. We have this full range of motion that is circumduction of the humerus at the shoulder.